Hello and welcome to another video where we talk about saggy units. Sometimes your unit gets saggy with age or right off the bat. For that, you need professional help and this is where you can find it. Now when I talk about saggy units, I am talking about your GPU, your, your computer parts, not your private parts. It's a separate video for another occasion. I don't know if you can tell, but it's sagging a little bit my GPU. So let's see. Can you tell? Uh, kind of a little bit, not really. This is the front of the box. I got this bracket from Amazon for like eight or nine dollars. Easy DIY fab. It's basically just an aluminum piece. That's it. That's all it is. With some holes in it, so you can, you know, just so you can put onto the PCIe slots covers, and you're done. It's very simple. Here you can see it better, where it's a little bit saggy, right? And right now I'm gonna touch it, make sure that it goes up a little bit so you know what I'm talking about. You know, it's like a cantilever beam, just sagging a little bit. Maybe not that much higher, but you know, try to help it out. So let's see if we can do the unboxing and apply this professionally. So we're gonna try to unbox this right now. See how this looks. It's not even taped together, but that's fine. It's just a piece of metal, right? Okay, little plastic baggie. That's completely open. That's nice. Okay, and then I should have some screws. Yeah, that's it. All right. Oh, and these are probably little rubber mounts, so it won't harm the GPU. Okay, let's see if we can install it. A good sign of a quality case, or at least not crappy case, is that these can be removed and refitted. Um, in the lower end cases, you just snap them off and then you can't put them on at all. Unless you use hot glue or weld them back together, but you know, nobody's going to do that. There are no instructions that come with this mechanism, with the little metal bar. In the pictures on Amazon, you'll see that it's actually attached like this, which makes sense because you'd want the name of the brand to be out there, right? You could, I guess you could also apply it like this if you don't like the brand name. If it also, if you have enough slots here, you know, you could do it this way too. But I am going to do it this way. So now, so I was gonna do it this way, which is why I took away those screws at the bottom or these two slots right here. But I'm gonna take these off and then just attach it and we'll see how it goes. So with the two screws off, we simply grab the little metal bracket here, which costs eight dollars, which I think is way too expensive for this type of crap. But okay, just like that, right? Okay, then we put attach that. I'll be right back. Okay, so we actually use three slots, and it comes with longer screws, which is what we attached here, just because it has to go through the GPU and the metal bracket here. So we use those two long ones, we use another long one, because I actually reinstalled the, um, the little PCIe slot cover back here. Well, I installed both of them, but one of them went underneath, that way you, know, you just don't have this ugly gap here. So that's in there, and I put the little rubber mounts, so I think I'll keep it like that, because I don't want it to inadvertently go into the fan here, you know, then just um, stop the fan, you, know, you don't want that, obviously. Ooh, looks so good looks all good let's see if I can go ahead and start it up and see how it runs oh it looks pretty so this came up just as I thought uh, no reason why it wouldn't and there is a significantly less amount of sag here which I like 
very much. Let me kind of plug some stuff in one back here, but uh, save and exit. Okay. Looks good. Okay. Thanks again for watching. I hope this has been educational for you. I will catch you on my next video. Bye.